I'm talking about Ruby, a programming language based on nature and you and me. It breaks down the dichotomy between man time and earth time of our body. Ruby, a guy named Matt said, make it simple on the outside, complex on the inside. Don't you see my me and your body? It's like, look at this. I am simple on the outside, but I'm complex on the inside. Ruby! Do you know Alan Kay? He was talking about messaging, like our biology, our minds, sending messages. And you see my feet! Oh, sorry, Blossom. <laughs> well, I'm talking about you and me. And I'm talking about internal to message in external memory with alphabetic technology in the middle. But you know what about the best thing about Ruby is about class. You know, mamas have babies. The behavior is transmitted down. The, you know, the baby don't get the mama's brain, but the baby gets the mama's brain. I mean, it's just like inheritance. Wolves came from, you know, make dogs. But there's a, you know, a way of looking at it. Two ways about class. It depends on what you want to do. When your mama and your daddy made a single cell, and that became you. And then two cells made you. And then four, and then eight, and sixteen, on and on and on, exponentially. And so, you were first single cell. Well then, we're taking our whole body, and when you go earth time, or wait, stop, and earth time here, earth time, earth time, you are one body. But if you are man time, earth time, you are single cell, you know, phase, single phase. I mean, you know, you gotta look at it electromechanically. Is that one of those shifts we felt as children when we were divided from our body because we were animated by language, because we didn't have class? You know, I mean, those were the shifts we felt, my friend. Ruby is nature. It has strict inheritance. Earth time objects, man time objects. It'll never change, it, you know, I mean, that's why this is a great time to be alive, is that, you know, later on, when we begin to, you know, once we know and we first objectify, we class, we have class between earth time objects and man time objects, they'll merge and then we'll evolve because we'll be earth time objects thinking above all humans of the past, thanks to Matt and Alan Kay and Ruby and alphabetic technology messaging external bi binary. I'm talking ones and zeros. And if you think with Galileo science, you know, object science, that earth time objects, man time objects, and that we can always fall back on it. And when you know, picture a wild animal in nature, their life depends on how well they think with objects. I have a wild, well, she's not wild. Minnie, come here. Come on up. Say hi to our friends. Up, up, up. Say hi to these guys. Hello, my beautiful girl. I know. Hi there. But she doesn't have two classes of objects to think of. But thanks to Matt and Alan Kay, move your finger, model the internet, think with class. And you know, all, for you coders out there, if you apply Ruby on English,
based on Galileo and object inheritance. You will see that Ruby decodes everything. I love you, friends. All right, I had to get a song in. But anyway, I'm just saying that. You have to think with physical objects. Thought is binary above language, thanks to Galileo, Galilee, and object science. Love you, friends. Earth time, man time, live as designed.